Hi everybody, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. It could be about love, finances, events, trips, anything. Please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Let's begin. This spread is for all water signs. Perhaps your story is in here, but there is also a separate spread just for your sign. We have the Ace of Swords, we have the Five of Swords, we have the Knight of Swords, and we also have the Five of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Somebody is coming in and they want to start a fight with you, water signs. There is no other way to interpret the spread. It could be um, an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, but there is somebody here definitely even enraged and uh, they're coming in and they want to start a fight right so we got the five of ones on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right this is a card of a fight a confrontation right we also have the five of swords in the middle the five of swords is definitely a card of a fight or a confrontation this is, it could also be somebody who wants to win at any cost at any means necessary with that Five of Swords. The flip side of the Five of Swords and is it could be a Pyrrhic victory, right? And the Pyrrhic victory is, is a victory, but the cost is so high that uh, this victory is not worth it. But uh, I don't think this person is going to stop. The Ace of Swords, the first card that came out, um, this is also an indicator of a fight, especially with the other cards being here. The Ace of Swords is basically an ultimatum. The Ace of Swords is just somebody who is going to be very straightforward, very blunt with you. Right? Somebody may call you out on something. The Knight of Swords right next to the deck, it could be an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Or if you look at the Knight of Swords closely, um, this person is charging ahead, they've got their sword out, and if you look at the expression of their face, I don't know if you can see it, this person is pissed off. Right, so somebody is definitely coming in wanting to start a fight. So hopefully you can avoid it because uh, there is no major arcana cards on the table. So it's, it could definitely be avoidable. Alright, water signs? Cool. Cancer. We have the Knight of Pentacles, clarified by the Nine of Cups. We have the Chariot, we have the Three of Cups, and we also have uh, the Magician on the bottom of the deck. Um, wishes do come true, Cancer. Manifestation. If you need an example of um, how manifestation comes into fruition, this spread right here is Exhibit A. <laughs> right? This is the proof right here. First of all, we have the Knight of Pentacles. It could be an Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn coming towards you, or it could be money coming your way. It could be in the form of a check, in the form of a pile of cash. Um, or it could be a job offer, it could be an investment opportunity offer, it could be just some sort of assistance coming in, but this is some good news coming your way. Um, the magician on the bottom of the deck, I think that's your energy. You've manifested, I've manifested this into your life, you always wanted it, um, and perhaps you did take action. Uh, you, I don't know what that action was, but it was in the past. So you did something to make it happen, and the, you manifested it into existence as well. The, um, the Knight of Pentacles is clarified by the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is a card of a wish come true, or this is a card of personal satisfaction. That's also you. You will definitely be happy about this coming your way. And the Chariot in the middle, that is your card. Cancer, that is you, and it's that Knight of Pentacles is facing you, so this is something incoming. And the Three of Cups right next to the deck, this is a card of celebration. So once this happens, once you're in the possession of all that extra cash <laughs> or a promotion or bonus, it will definitely be a reason for you to celebrate with the Three of Cups. You could be celebrating by yourself, you could be celebrating with your co workers, you could be celebrating with your family, your friends, whatever. But uh, like I said, something you always wanted is finally coming your way. All right? Cool. Scorpio. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have Temperance, clarified by the Three of Pentacles. And we also have the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. I think, Scorpio, you are working on something really hard. I think you're trying to make money. And all of it is for your uh, fine, personal financial security or independence or stability or if you are already in a relationship or married this is all for your family so you're making money you're tr working really hard 
right? The 10 of Wands, the first card that came out, this is a card of a burden. So like I said, you're carrying all those Wands, and you're working, you're doing something, you could be starting your own business or you're working a second job, you're working overtime just to make more money. So like I said, your family would feel better or you could reach your own personal independence, right? Or perhaps, um, if you run your own business, you know that if you work over the weekend, then it will pay off in a big way. And it kind of looks like you're almost there, because the Ten of Wands, this is a 10, right? This is the last card. You're about to drop that burden. You're about to get there. You're about to achieve that. The Ten of Pentacles, the next card over, it could be um, financial abundance. The Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck all the way to right. This also um, a card of somebody who's got money in the bank right? Um, the Ten of Pentacles could also be your family or your relationship. The next card over is Temperance and it's clarified by the Three of Pentacles. Temperance in this case, I think this is all about patience, right? And the Three of Pentacles, this is a card of collaboration, this is a card of uh, building something, working on something, working together with other people on something. So it could be a group effort, but I think you're like the lead, or if you're the business owner here, then uh, you're basically telling everybody what to do, right? So yeah, it's a great card. It's a great combo, and the Three of Pentacles is a great card, then the Ten and the Nine of Pentacles. So, yep, keep going at it. Uh, Scorpio, you're almost there. You're almost there. You will be successful. You will make all that money that you've been working so hard to make. And you will reach your financial abundance. You will reach your financial independence. All right? Cool. Pisces. We have the Four of Cups, clarified by the Six of Cups and the Page of Cups. We have Temperance. We have the Four of Pentacles. And we also have the Moon on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or another Pisces or pretty much any zodiac sign. Well, somebody's going to try to reconcile with you, but um, they're going to fail because you're going to send them back to the past where they belong. In a nutshell, that's what the spread, that's what the spread is. Um, the moon on the bottom of the deck, that is your personal card, Pisces. That is you, right? It's always a good sign to have your own card in your own reading. That means you're the one in charge and uh, you're the one going to call a shot. The Four of Cups, the first card that came out, this is a card of a rejection after there is an offer being made. And uh, the Page of Cups right there is the offer. The Page of Cups is also a card of an apology. The Six of Cups right next to the Page of Cups is a card of somebody coming back from the past. Right, so this must be your ex. Temperance in the middle, this is a card of Sagittarius, but if we want to stay general, um, this is what this person, this ex coming back from the past wants. They want to get back together with you. They want to heal the situation, bury the hatchet, and um, reconcile with you. But um, nope, ain't gonna fly with you. The Four of Pentacles, the last card that came out in this part, I believe this is you remaining closed off, remaining shut down, and uh, not opening up to this person whatsoever. So as I already mentioned, for whatever reason, uh, you've already moved on or you're just done, you're over this person and um, yep, that's it. You're sending them back to the past where they belong. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.